Hello, welcome to episode 134 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Uh, tonight we've got our last six games for our Halloween extravaganza, and um, it's quite a combination. Quite, quite a combination of games. Um, so, oh, the T-shirt, Doctor Banner and Mister Hulk. I felt it was kind of Halloweeny. And obviously we've got some Haunted Mansion wallpaper on the shirt. Um, so we're going to start. Now, a couple of these games, I did start to make sure they worked. But I know, I know, calm down, calm down. Um, so I felt I recognised them when I started them. But I can't find them as, they, they weren't listed as played. So maybe we've played a different, a different game that was similar. Or on a different system. I don't know. Um, but that's enough. Enough jibber jabber. Let's get over to the arcade. And. Um, actually. We're going to go to this screen. First. Boop. Yep. Yeah, this screen. We're going to go to the 80s. Um, because we're playing a DS game. First. And it's a DS game called Teenage Zombies Invasion of the Alien Brain Thingies. So, let me get you to a screen. And like I said, there's only six tonight. So, who knows? Um, I was going to say, we might spend a little longer on each one just to see what they're like. But... <laughs> Having seen some of them and having not seen others of them, that might not be true. We'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yes, I appreciate it does start sideways. Much like today, something strange was happening. I think something strange it? is happening. Um, so that seems for some reason there seems really loud. more alien brain singies around than the usual zero. Hey Nor, your dog's Let's see if we can get skip past it. Hey Nor, never mind. But how could this be? Who could be responsible for such Okay. <clears throat> it's this guy, the big brain. I keep forgetting that I can use the mouse. So why why can we not skip this? I felt certain we skipped it. Last time. So you don't know if it's a controller or if it's. Um, As alien hordes continue to lay waste. Should be fine. Hit the controller, right? All hope for mankind is lost. Or is it? For the alien brains, doom awaits, sleeping in a nearby cemetery. A doom that has been awoken by fresh brain meats. Brains. What horror lies beneath? Brains. What salvation will be unearthed? Brains. Who will be left to stop them? Teenage zombies, that's who. Finnegan Finns McGee, Zach Halfpipe Boyd, Lori Lefty Lopez, the Teenage Zombies Invasion of the Alien Brain Thingies. Uh. Okay, oh, so we're working in the top screen. We don't normally do that. Oh, my pad's not... Um... Oh, 
to have been quite chilled. What's that? I mean, typical light, but what is that? Okay, what are we gonna do? Because it can see it, it knows it's there. I'll tell you what we're gonna quickly do. We're gonna quickly start a game from last week. And just see, uh, see what we get. Uh, I'm not gonna show you this bit, I'm just gonna Right, so it's the pad. Even though it's switched on. Switched on. Okay, why is that? I wonder if that's because of, of the problem that we had last week. Maybe because we had to reset all the stuff, didn't we, last week? If you remember, um, okay. Let's see what we get with this one. Oop. Connected. Nope. Go away. Connected. So ah, that one works. So yeah, it works. Oh no! Don't say my best pad is breaking. Oh, uh, anyway, back to the game. Um, so, what have we got? Okay, attack. on this one speech um, not speech um, lettering instructions are um, things you can walk on a bit difficult to line up right Oh, now you see, what's that? What's that like? Feel we're missing stuff, don't you? Can't get to that. Can I get that way? Nope. Okay. How am I going to get that? Mm. 
Right, now I need to change the little fella. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to play with a. You need the stylus every time you want to um, change. Change character. Oh, cock off. Oh, that's annoying. So, we've missed him, haven't we, somewhere? There we go. So we need him up here, don't we, somewhere? Nope. Oh. <sighs> right, so we need to swap back to it. Then we need to fat block with tentacles. Press down to pick up power-ups. Make sure to use the right zombie. So do we need, do we need, ooh. Banky Biatch. I'm sure that was her name. So, so are we fins in? Are we fins in, do we think? Yes, we... Super. Okay. There's something else we need to pick up there. There seems to be lots of... Okay, let's swap them and see if... No. No, oh, so we're at the right one. Why is there still stuff to pick up, though? Oh. Okay, still stuff to pick up. Not to pick up. Oh, oh shit! What have I done? Oh no! Don't know what that was. Don't know what button I pressed. I will avoid it. Press Y to activate the power up or touch it in the coffin and press what? ones why I don't remember which ones are on. feels like we should be doing some air though don't you think so that's A and B right none of them can do anything
seems like it's the way out though, don't you think? Walk up that. Oh no, this is the only way out. Okay, so let's have a look. And um, can we make it up there? No, we can't, which means we probably can't make it up that one. Nope. Okay, shit. Um, mm. What do we think? In a little room, huh? and and there's only it keeps saying this is the right person to pick all this up, but I don't. Don't understand what we're doing there. It doesn't seem to make any sense. Press Y to activate the power. I'll touch it in the coffin. Then press Y to use the power. What's the power up? What is the power of that? What am I touching? Oh, okay. I see you. So that's. Oh, do I have to go back and do it again? Ah, come on. Balls. Okay. Any stylus game. What we're doing. Don't really get what we're supposed to be doing. To go. We don't pick a guy to go down. They don't drop down. So do we f let them out? Ah. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. How do we get the... How do we get the special things? Oh, unless we funnel them out past the special things and they pick them up. Ooh, okay. Maybe. Probably never play this game again. Um, oh, we do have the option to play it again. Oh. there was a brain down there but do we need to check upwards first is it a dead end it's a dead end oh 
Oh shit. That was probably a bad fall. I shouldn't have done that. I'm guessing. Just a guess. Shit jump. Um Okay. Okay. Who's got a range? Has he got a range? Not enough range. Okay. Uh can we get him from a different direction? Don't want to. Don't want to drop all the way down, do I? Oh, I'm back where I started. Quick. Go away though. Oh, yes, I do. Just the whole the whole point of the game is to um, Ooh, okay why can't you reach that or what's up the wrong wall uh what if i oh they've all got a shit jump okay Somewhere across here where we can grab that. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, gotcha. Right, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Get up that now, though. I don't think the girls got enough jump. Oh, 
know. She has. Still not correct. Brains there. I don't think we can get them. She doesn't. Oh. Oh. Just saw that just as I jumped down. just sent me in here to bloody kick rats asses all right so then in that case we need to go back this way don't we oh oh shit Neither could she. How do I get on there then? Come on. Toss. This is where we came in. Okay. I'm wondering whether we might have reached the end of our time with, uh, with this. Uh -huh. Oh, she can jump up this, though, can't she? Ah, oh, apologies, you've already seen this bit before. Oh, and this is a. Uh... He's got quite a high jump. I wonder if I can get him to jump. Don't need to jump, does he? Because we can just do that with him. But. Don't really know what to do now. And dropping into that pit is just enough to make me go, you know what? Stuff it. Stuff it. Um, look, we've spent quite a, a reasonable amount, amount, yeah, amount of time with that. So let's um, move on to our next game, uh, which means we're going to be moving back to 
the main screen. Yes. And we're moving to the Mega Drive now. Whoa, and this is Master of Monsters. Um, I wonder if it's related to the Monsters game we played last night. Doesn't look like it. I'm saying it doesn't look like it. You can't bloody see it, can you? Okay, let's have a look. A look, a look, a look. Um, m m m Master of Monsters, there it is. Wow, look at that. A lot going on there. Well, we've never played it before, so we can't continue. Right, let me move that. I wonder if we press start then. No? Oh, one of the yellow buttons. Should we see what some of these options are? No, no we won't. We'll just press start, shall we? Oh, oh dear. I'm glad we've spent a long time on the first game because we're not going to be spending a long time with this. But you know what? I don't think we're going to be spending any time with it at all. Um, holy fucking shirt balls. Right, um... person to do I mean do we not do we so one assumes we are going to be fighting whoever that was in red then over somewhere uh -oh. so So I think it's plain to see I have absolutely no freaking idea what we're doing or what we're talking about or anything. So a little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. Now that we're recording, let's move on to the Sega Saturn game Werewolf. With its flashy, flashy faces. And, um... It's barkiness. So... It's very slow. As in, it takes a long time to load. There's um, something... Maybe it thinks it's loading a disc. Uh, okay, so...
Super. It's a, a bit of a weird angle for me to be... Uh, Now, can't see any blood flying out, so one assumes I'm not doing any damage whatsoever, which is bad. So, let's run away and see if there's something else we should be doing instead. We've got a compass at the top. What, um, what do we get from that? Is that me hurting her or is that her hurting me? She doesn't look to be bleeding at all, does she? Oh, and I can't move now, I'm dead. So what's going on? I mean, I can hear it making noise, but I don't have any control over anything. Uh, has it crashed? Well, let's just restart it, shall we? Oh. Proper Halloween nightmare tonight, innit? So, I don't really like the, the isometric fighting. Um, and I'm not sure I've got a hang of the controls. What's this? What? What? Am I, what's going on? I mean, you'd think I was like Godzilla and I was un... I was invulnerable. But I think it's hurting me. Even though I'm mass... I don't... I, well, I mean, what's gone on there? What's gone on there? It's quite unstable, isn't it? Oh. Do you know what? I thought this one would at least get a bit of werewolf action. Very disappointed. Oh, now my voice has gone really loud. Oh. Okay. Let's move on to this screen. Yay! Um, you know what this screen means? It means we're going to do... Uh, PlayStation Plus, uh, no, uh, um, PSP, PlayStation Portable. I've got Plus on my mind because I've been cancelling my, my PlayStation subscription this, this afternoon, so. Um, what's the game? What's the game? Okay, so we're going to be playing Medieval Resurrection. 
Now, I do believe we've played Medieval before on the Mega Drive. What do you think? So, let's see what we get now. In a time long ago, there was a kingdom called Galomir, a land where the people were happy, war was unknown, the children were polite and helpful at all times, and not just when mooching for chocolate. The monarch of the realm, King Peregrine, was wise and just, and all in all, a bit of a decent chap, fond of philosophy, literature, and pictures of kittens in bonnets. He was an enlightened ruler. But he had among his retinue an official court magician a brilliant but unscrupulous man by the name of Zarok. Instead of confining himself to the horoscopes and balloon animals for which he was employed, Zarok began to conduct horrific experiments on the bodies of the dead. Of course, people often get quite sensitive about their deceased loved ones, so it wasn't long before the king found out and had the sorcerer banished from the land. Zarok skulked away into the wilderness and busied himself by perfecting his experiments, seething with rage and practicing his diabolically evil laugh. At last, with an army of demons at his command, he set off to bring Galumia under his foul dominion. The captain of the royal guard, Sir Daniel <coughs> Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are sung to this day of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how the invaders fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he fell upon the infernal sorcerer and destroyed him utterly. True, these songs don't have particularly catchy choruses, but people cared less about chart success in those days. And so it was that Daniel Fortescue went down in history, the hero of Galamir. And there came upon the land a time of peace, harmony, and quality wines at affordable prices. The tranquility was to last for a hundred years, but then the sorcerer returned. Okay. See, I don't recognize any of this, so it's a good sign. <laughs> Wipe out. Unskippable story.
Okay, maybe we'll get some game now. Dan's Crypt. The best place to go if you're looking for a dead Dan. Oi, you, Fortescue! At last! Come, get up! We got things to do! Hey, hey! Easy, my friend. In my culture, we treat the guests with courtesy. Especially if they stop by for 100 years. Hmm. Who am I? My friend, you should feel honored. Usually, the corpses, their skulls are filled with just the worms. Instead, you get I, Al Zalam, glorious genie of the Sultan Prince Razim the Ribald, noble protector of. Hmm. You doubt me? I see it in your eye. Well, it is true. With genies, usually we are trapped within the lamps. That is bad. Very oily for the skin. But far worse, let me tell you, is when evil sorcerer tricks you, yeah. traps you inside skull of cowardly knight. Oh, the smell! It is mustier than a Saracen's jockstrap. You imply that I lie. In my culture, that would earn you 50 strokes of the cat. And we are allergic to cats. So that is a terrible punishment. But fine, if you're too busy with the being dead, we just sit back and watch Zarok destroy Galomir once more. Oh, you remember Zarok at least. Nice decor. Early macabre. Okay. Oh, so we know where that is. I mean, do I, should I be looking at being ghoul? Ah, a beautiful map of Galomir. This will help us get around the realm. The graveyard. You wouldn't catch me digging graves in my yard. Spoils the ambience. The Hall of Heroes. Where heroes are allowed to store their umbrellas and raincoats. Welcome, O oh undernourished one, to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, arm wrestling, and singing out of tune. If they think you're worthy, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. In your case, you'll be lucky to walk away with a spud gun. Now move it, Twiggy. That looks like the only one moving, is that right? Did the ones with all the statues? Captain Fortescue, does the battle go well? <laughs> A temporary setback, I'm sure, sire. Gosh, they were merry times, slapping our thighs, downing beakers of bitter shandy, and the battles, ooh, they were fun too. How I wish I could help you in some way now. Mm -hmm. But hold! Oh, you could take my crossbow. I used it at the Battle of Galomir. After you were slain, I shot Zarok's champion, Lord Cardock, a clean kill, sir. Right through the eye, at some 300 yards. Hmm. Uh, not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So, this is where we started, isn't it? And this is where we've ended up. Cemetery Hill, an excellent name for a blues singer.
Well... Oh, no. You're back. Looking like something from a butcher's dustbin. Oh, and watch that smell. Oh, decomposition. <laughs> well, you're too late anyway. My army has already risen from the grave. Still, never mind, eh? Chalk it up as yet another of your inglorious failures. <laughs> I really need to work on that mocking laugh. So, I think we're going to leave it there. I think we're going to leave it um, because time is ticking on. Um, and we do have one more game in the list. So uh, let's get rid of that and go back to... Oh, what am I doing here? No, it's too early for this. Too early for this. Go back to that one. That's the one. We'll just play um, a few minutes of our last game because, do you know what? I have a sneaking suspicion we might have played this one in the past. Um, so every time I switch a game on, switch to the game audio, my voice changes in my headphones, which is a little disconcerting. Uh, okay, so... We're going to end with a turbo graphics game called Horror Story. And do you know what? I can't believe we've never played it on a Halloween before. Primarily because it's got horror in the title. And that's what I would have looked for. So I do feel we've probably played it. But do you know what? It's my show. We're just going to play it again. Okay. So push run button. Oh, here we go. Let me check the controller. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been. Okay. Uh. Right. Shit. Got a bit close. Yeah, we're not going to be playing this so long, are we? Oh, I can't shoot up in the air. Oh, how am I supposed to get up there then? Oh no! Oh, okay then. Oh, I got that shit bag. All right, let's try again. Chad bastard. I don't know how I'm supposed to get them. Oh! 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 
think I preferred the shooters. Guns. Oh, I didn't need to ring that bell. Shit. Huh? Oh, oh. Where do I continue from, though? That's not continue, my friend. them all. Shouldn't have gone for her. Should have just left it. Oh, well, look. I'm sure we've played it before, so we don't need to carry on playing it. So let's go back to this screen. The screen with the least amount of technical difficulties. Yes, the least amount. And say thank you. Thank you for watching us. For our Halloween extravaganza for the past four weeks. Um, oh, normal service will be resumed next week, which means I need to be here. You get out of practice. Four weeks. You get out of practice. Um, so, yes, let me get you the window. Which is this window, which will appear any minute now. you um okay so let's have a look at what we're doing next week oh no it's moderator's choice which means um nutty cluster will be picking the games for next episode um which is i suppose is a nice uh, refresher refreshes the palette between um, after our Halloween escapades. So uh, so that's something to look forward to. Um, oh, much choice. That could be anything. Could be anything. Sheesh. 
Um, anyway, if you want to email us, you can. Uh, email's just there. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. Um, if you're watching us on Twitch live on a Monday from 7 o'clock, thank you very much. And if you're watching us on YouTube um, with the edited parts, with, with all the silence and stuff like that that happened tonight taken out, then thank you. And you know we're on both those platforms, a snug radio. Uh, but we're also on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook as snug radio, believe it or not. I know, I know, right? Um, so the, that's all the ways that you can get in touch with us. Uh, uh, if you want to help the show at all, then well, oh, obviously rates, reviews and suggestions to friends always goes a treat. Um, so whatever platform you're on, if you could leave a comment underneath or a like or just anything, something like that, it would be fine. Thank you. But you could also visit Nutty Clusters um, design shop called Ink Inspiration and get yourself some merch. Um, she's recently been selling um, pop art phone covers, which are kind of cool looking. Uh, so... Um, if you like Taskmaster, she does a, a nice range of Taskmaster merch as well. So, that's uh, Ink Inspiration over at Redbubble. Now you can find all the designs there. And um, once you've done that, if you, if you really want to help, then um, my design shop, The Glorious Idiot, is available with tons of designs for you to, um, to have a look and get some... The early Christmas presents. That's, there are some Christmas uh, designs in there, but there are lots of lots and lots of designs which um, look good when they're printed on things. Um, because I know, because I've seen them. So, um, so there you go. That's the glorious idiot, and that's it. That's it. Uh, by the time we meet again, it will be November. So. Stay safe. Have a good Halloween. Uh, this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. I've been Math. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.